doing today? I hope you're doing wonderful. I am going to be with my friend Joe. Hello. He is here from London. Yes. We have been friends for a two and a half ish years. Two, yeah, two nearly. And somehow he's like family now. The, That's nice. the boys love him. The boys really love him. Aww. They may love you more than I love you. They're really nice. They talked your ear off. I liked that. <laughs> I know. He's a talker. Um, so he brought me treats to try from London. I am scared because I am a picky eater and I know it doesn't show but I am <laughs> so um we're gonna see how this goes I have my little chalkboard here for me to keep track of how many I like how many are hell no okay and how many are no and how many are yes uh, oh yeah there's gonna be some yeses right there should be hopefully <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so we're just gonna jump right in and do these Evie tries London snacks. So, Evie's first snack is going to be one that is notorious in the UK. A really popular old time British sweet that you might recognize Dolly mixtures. So, Evie, these are. are they different flavors? They are. They all have different tops, and you can see that some of them are pink, some of them are brown, some are orange on the top. And there's some that aren't even square and match it, like these, which are like little tiny jellies. Oh, it looks like gumdrops. Yeah, they're kind of like gumdrops. So you can either have a whole bunch of them together or try one by one and see what you think. I'll try this one. Okay. It looks kind of safe. It, can you see this? It is kind of a safe one. Okay. Oh. You don't like the consistency of that, no? <laughs> okay, all right, you gotta try the other ones. The taste is not bad. All right. The texture tastes like sand. Okay. Or feels like sand. All right, try that one. This is a gumdrop. And then we got another flavored, different colored gumdrop one. That one was really good. Okay. I love gumdrops. You might like this one. Are these dollies too? Those are dollies too. Oh, really? That one's toxic flavor. I promise you it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is a lime gumdrop. Okay. Oh my God, I love these. There aren't actually any more in the packet. <laughs> <laughs> is that not like um, trail mix when you get... This great trail mix is supposed to have chocolate in it, and it's like right. literally got two pieces in it. So it's really the same thing. And then I want you to try all three together, and then see what you think. And that's the funny contextualized feeling. So I have booger green. <laughs> I have poo poo brown. What can orange be? Um, swamp mud sunrise. <laughs> okay, swamp mud sunrise. I have to do them all together? Yes. That's how people in Britain eat them sometimes. If they like them. They're not the best, are they? The taste. I like the taste. Okay. I just... I don't normally eat sand. <laughs> <laughs> you don't normally eat sand. <laughs> Right, so, of all of them taste tests, what is your verdict overall of Dolly Mixture? The gumdrop ones. Mm -hmm. I would eat them all day. Okay. So, the gumdrop ones mm. is a yes. Right. Um, if I was craving sugar and that's all I had, mm -hmm. I would eat the other ones too. All right. So, should I put a no or should I yes? Which would you say? I think a yes. I think a yes. I think a yes. Yeah. So we'll give two yeses for that one. So next, Ooh. you have quite an exciting one. I really like these. These aren't my favorites, but I like one that's very similar. And these are a cult classic. 
a cult classic. Yes. Nice. Jelly cherries. Ooh. I love jellies. Okay. Or gummies. And you probably will like that one. Are we seeing this? It's got no sugar. It's just jelly. Of course, we'd call it sweets, but sweets. same thing. But this is like almost the same texture as Swedish Fish. Wow. But these are good. So, your <gasps> next one. These look like gumdrops too. They're different from gumdrops. Y'all like gumdrops, right? These are fruit pastels. What? Very sugary. They've got fruit on what the inside. What does that word mean? Pastels. Like, it's like a drop. pasties, but kind of. <laughs> no, you know what pasties are? No. They're these little things that stick on your nipples and they twirl. Oh no, I didn't mean them. <laughs> no, they're like they're like gumdrops, <laughs> but they're just wrapped in sugar. Okay. Okay. So this is an orange one, okay. but there's a whole bunch of flavors that I want you to try. Orange slices. Right. This is what this, like, my favorite candy of all time is this. Oh. But it's shaped like an orange slice and it tastes just like orange. Oh, okay. I mean, I think our orange slices are a little more gummy. Yeah. But these are the same idea. Gotcha. <laughs> that, the orange is really good. Good. Because this one's an apple and this is one of my favorites. We don't really have apple flavored candy. Check it out. Is it weird that I think it tastes like lime? No. I might be wrong that it's apple. I haven't had these in a long time. But it's apple or lime. It really tastes like lime. Okay. What do you think of that? It's good. I like it. Okay. This one I know is lemon. Mm, I'm not a big fan of lemon. Unless it's lemon heads. I've never had lemon heads. Seriously. But I like lemon. Lemon size. You probably like lemon heads. Mm. The gummy texture is just so much thicker than what our gummy stuff is. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Even for a gumdrop, it's still a little bit thicker than our gumdrop. Right. You'll probably like this one. This one's strawberry, but kind of tastes like strawberry with lemonade. This tastes like raspberry. You know, a fan now. I hate raspberry. Oh. That is not strawberry. Mm -mm. Not strawberry at all. Oops. That's disgusting. But if you like raspberry. You probably like that one. Does it say what the flavors are on the back? Not on this one. Oh, this is a store brand one. Oh. That's all. But this one is blackcurrant. What? Blackcurrant. What is that? Blackcurrant. Like, you know what you have in Ribena? What is that? Or like Capri Sun. You know that flavor. Are we speaking no. the same language? Yeah. Capri Sun? <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> Like, what are you saying? Cap Capri Sun. Ha the right way to say it. The right way to say it? <laughs> the right way to say it. <laughs> the drink. The drink. The, the kid's so drink. It's fruit punch, then. It, no. Oh, let me just taste it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, you are not a fan. Oh, I can't even do this. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Eh. Oh. Okay. Eh. Not a fan. All right, so that's a hell no. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. That legit tasted like prunes. It you definitely should... wasn't a prune. Oh my God, that was not grape. Not grape. Not grape at all. It wasn't grape. It was black car. <laughs> oh, wait. I need to look that up. Black currant? What are you saying? Like, it's a type of fruit. It's like cranberry. Ask, ask Google to explain it to me. Okay. <laughs> look at all the sugar on the... 
We can wipe that up. Yeah. So. Oh, good. Another poo colored thing. Belle looks pretty interested in this one. Yeah. This is fizzy cola flavored Ooh. lances, which are typically just called cola strips. I like cola. Looks like a, a limp charro or charro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it looks like a charro. Very sugary, right? It's not the sugar that I have a problem with. No. So, you guys, imagine Coke with tart bottle caps in it. That is the taste. It's like a burning sweet taste. Oh. You don't taste the burning when you eat this? Yeah, it kind of leaves a zingy feeling in your mouth. I'd say that's pretty fair. It's okay. It's sour. It's more yeah. it's more of a sour candy than a sweet candy. That's very true. Although it <coughs> has a lot of sugar. <laughs> yeah. I actually kind of like it though. Cuz nice. have you had like um sour patch kids? No, but I know of it. It's kind of like that is what this is. Come. Oh. On. Okay. It's okay. I could deal with it. The next one is one of my childhood favorites, which is Ooh. a notorious British sweet, which feels like what? Is awesome. Oh, this little. is a flying saucer. <laughs> oh my god. Feels like, ooh. There you go. Do you know what the texture of this is? It's like paper, right? It's like packing foam. Oh. Like the little peanuts we get in packages. Oh, okay. That's the texture. Can't, are you sure this is eating it, a bowl? It, I it, promise. I promise it's edible. Are you sure it's edible? Promise. <laughs> Are you lying to me? No, I promise. I promise it's edible. You haven't even had the best bit yet. Put the rest in your mouth all in one like go. It's like paper. Not yet. Okay, now get all of the sherbet at the same time with the paper. So the inside part, when I was a little girl, you know, many, many years ago, many years before you were born, I, they was like little, plastic fruit oh so there was a little plastic fruit and it had them. like sweet stuff in yeah. them like kool-aid i have them too it seems like that's what's in the middle of it is like the kool-aid texture stuff it's kind of similar but like <laughs> you should have told me just pop it in my mouth because <laughs> that texture is straight up paper <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see you suffer. Oh, <laughs> oh thanks. <laughs> okay. Now the next have one. I to like uh, toothpaste him up because he can sleep through anything. I should put toothpaste all over you. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, well, have we been writing these? I forgot to check. Yes. No, you didn't write the cola strips. And I, I mean, I would say no on those, but they don't taste bad. So I guess I'll give it a yes. Okay. So far, this is going pretty decent. I'd say so. You have eight yeses, two hell no's, no no's. And Belle has none because she hasn't eaten any. I wonder if she would eat this. Can I give her one of these? The sugar's probably really bad for her. You want to smell it? <laughs> She's like, oh. She's like, let me just lick it. Let me, so let me just, she's like, nope, that's paper. <laughs> oh, oh, she is licking it. Oh, oh. oh. Yank. 
<laughs> yep, I didn't know how to eat it either, though. <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly. Interestingly, there's some people that don't know how to eat flying saucers that open it up, eat the sherbet, and then don't know what to do with the paper. So you did well. Oh, thank you. Okay. So our next one. Is that a Kinder Egg? Shh, it's illegal. Oh, no, not here. They sell them now. No, that's Kinder Surprise. Really? I don't know what the brand names are, but there's one in America that is legal. And there's one thing. Why is it unlegal? Well, apparently they made it illegal because of all the little parts on the inside and kids weren't allowed to have them. I think she's done. Yeah. She's like, I'm done. Oh, 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 oh. bye teddy bear. <laughs> Did she just call her a teddy bear? Yeah, she's, she's adorable. Okay, so it's kind of cracked, but the difference between the US and the UK one, as far as I know, isn't the taste but there could be a difference. The difference is that in the US, the toy's on the outside of the chocolate, but in the UK, the toy's on the inside of the chocolate. I guess it's probably less notorious and it's a little bit crashed, but it's edible. Yeah, it's the same as the little thing inside, but oh. like, oh, but like, oh, but like uh, the thing, you just open it up. You don't have to like break it or anything. Oh, I see. I, or at least that's the one I have. Oh. So, funny story. I don't really like Kindlers. Really? I'm with the toy, though. <laughs> that's not bad, though. You don't that mind That one it? doesn't taste bad. It's like British milk chocolate. It's pretty decent. I feel like they taste a little bit different from the German ones I've had. Really? You got your toys here. Oh, do I have actually something to build? <laughs> it's an armadillo. Hello. Yeah. Oh my god. I honestly couldn't work it out at first glance. But this is how you make it. I don't follow in directions very well. Okay, clearly I can't do this on my own, but it's so cute. Somehow, maybe this one, oh, yep. And then I think this bit goes there. Oh, I might be wrong. No, I think you're right. And it looks like the shell goes over the side part. <gasps> He's so cute. So after much deliberation, we have an armadillo. <laughs> Hi, I'm an armadillo. Now I wonder if this is a Louisiana armadillo. What's the difference between a Louisiana armadillo and a normal armadillo? I don't know. But I know I broke my foot because of an armadillo. <laughs> yes, I broke my foot because of an armadillo. Oh. Well, you could either blame the armadillo that made the hole in the ground or the cow mm. that got out of its fence that I had to chase. That sounds like suck. That's how country girl I am. <laughs> sounds like a cool story. Oh my. I know. You're making a mess. The Kinder Egg's going everywhere. It's not fun. Now you got it under my table, dude. Oh my god, I just called you a dude. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Dropped it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just pick up the big pieces and we'll deal with it later. Oh, you are such a good girl. Yes, you are. <gasps> There's banana ones in here. You didn't give me a banana one. Didn't I? Mm -mm, you gave me the lemon. There's a oh, banana. I thought they were the same. You like banana? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. We could go for another yes in that case. See. Well. Mm -hmm. So this next one is one of my other favorites, but one of my other current day favorites. They've got a great smell to them. They taste very fruity. I don't know if I trust you with these dark ones. Wine gums. Wine? Wine gums. Like literal wine? It hasn't got any alcoholic content. 
Oh, I don't like the way that smells. Try it. It tastes a lot better than it smells. That one is also black currant. Mm -mm. No, not a fan. Mm -mm. No. I, I will have the rest. This is my favorite. That is like, mm -mm. like no has none because I so strongly feel <laughs> about these bad ones. Okay, this one is red. I'm not sure if it's strawberry. I don't trust you. <laughs> that one looks acceptable. I feel like this is raspberry too, but not as raspberry as that other one. Right. You want the rest of this one? Sure. But this is exactly our gummy texture. These these just taste like regular gummies. Mm. Orange. Quiet. I, I lied. These are like the Swedish fish stew. Really? The texture. Wow. Lemon. good and apple or lime don't honestly remember lime. Mm. Lime. it's good so you really hated the first one mm. the others what do you think about them i like them okay was there three or four I mean, I wouldn't eat the raspberry one, but it was still digestible. Yeah, I got that. You can pick the black ones out later oh. and leave the rest for me. <laughs> mm. These banana ones and these that you didn't give me at first. Oh, yeah? They're really good. I oh. like the banana. A okay, lot. you really like that one. Mm -hmm. Good. This one is another British notorious favorite that my girlfriend suggested that I got Evie to try. I nice haven't... chocolate? You'll find out. Oh, no. I haven't <laughs> tried these ones in a long time. They're very popular. They look kind of like poo. This is licorice. Oh, I hate licorice. Oh, no, not putting that in my mouth. <laughs> no. You want to try a bit? Come on, try, try a little bit and just see if the British one is any different. Oh, God, it looks like poo. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> oh, it's got to come out. Oh, God. Oh, oh God, <laughs> it hit my nose. <laughs> that tastes like castor oil or something. I'm not a fan. <laughs> you look so disappointed with me. <laughs> and I thought I could trust you. Oh, you can. I just... Oh no. Our trust is totally gone. Oh, no. Ah, no. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, you know I'm taking a shot. <laughs> exactly the point. Bell. Oh, Bell. Bell. Hey. hey it's buddy. stuck in our teeth. Ooh. Can you need some gum? Ugh. <sighs> Spaceship. is a brand that I know that you guys don't have but this is Ooh, a wait. type of smooth milk milk chocolate and this one is another favorite and I'd like you to try some without having a look at the brand name 
Oh, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me. Oh. I'll never trust you again. You will. Mm -mm. That was horrible. Horrible. Licorice, or you don't like it. I hate licorice, but that's worse than our licorice. So this next one is a smooth milk type of chocolate that I want you to have a try tasting without having to look at the brand name. This one is a favorite over in the UK. Mm, it's really good. You like that one? Mm-hmm. Cool. My friend from Germany sends me some chocolate sometimes. Oh yeah. And it tastes similar to one of the ones he sends. Oh wow, okay. So what is the branding? Um, so, I've never seen that before. Okay. What would you go for that one? Definite yes. Good shout. I love like European chocolate. And this next one. I've never seen that either. I mean, of course, you know, I know Canberry because we have it, but yeah. I've never seen that one. You might be surprised by that one. Oh, you don't think it's good? I've never tried it. Are these biscuits? Yeah. Well, wait. <laughs> Gotta get it open first. Well, no, I mean, I know I'm trying to um, understand your language. So, a British person's definition of biscuit isn't like what you get at Popeyes. British. Oh, you know about Popeyes? Yeah. You don't have Popeyes? No. Oh. But, a British biscuit is typically what you have with a hot drink, usually tea. And this is just one of them. I don't know. Biscuit reminds Biscuit is just like um, soft, buttery flour oh. biscuit. Definitely not the same. This no. one's pretty hard, but this I remember is... when we still ha remember when we first had the discussion about biscuits. Yeah. And you were like, "Ooh, why would you eat that with a biscuit?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Because you would? I didn't understand the difference. But this is a milk chocolate digestive. Is it gonna give me the poops? It shouldn't. I really like these ones. But like, why is it called a digestive? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had this conversation with my girlfriend the other day. It's quite weird that we call it digestive, but really all it is is to describe this back bit because when you dunk it in a hot drink, mm -hmm. it dissolves, it kind of digests mm -hmm. itself. It's good. Right? I probably would not be like, oh, if I had to go in a store and I'm going to be like, I'm going to pick out those biscuits over there. I probably wouldn't <laughs> do that because I'm yeah. not a cracker type person. Ah, okay. This is a cracker with chocolate on it. Basically. That's what it's, it is. It's a cracker. But I love having them with a glass of milk and dunking them in. Wait until it goes really soft and then biting into it. Mm, I should try that with orange juice. Orange juice. You don't know this about me? What? I dunk everything that normal people would dunk in milk. I dunk it in orange juice. No kidding. No kidding. Oreos, chocolate chip cookies, cake, orange juice. How? <laughs> Dip it? No, no, I, it in I my mean, mouth. Like, doesn't the taste taste bad? No, it's really good. Okay. And my kooky friends in Long Island mix chocolate milk and orange juice together. That's disgusting. Wow, that that is new to me. So you give this one a yes? Yeah. Kind of tastes like a. I don't know. It kind of tastes like something I've had before. Hmm. But I'm not sure. Oh, maybe the icing covered Teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams. Yeah. Huh. I don't recognize the name. But they have that back part the same. It's a little bear. Oh. With a little fat tummy. They're very cute. This next one is also a smooth milk chocolate type. Really? Yes. But 
it has white chocolate on it too. Mm. I keep looking at you through the mirror. I do the same. Mm. Bill's licking my toe. Oh. You like that one? Mm. This one is one of the most favoured chocolate brands in the UK. This? Yes. It's perfect. You really like that one. Mm-hmm. You're gonna give that one a big tick? That one gets a plus. Okay. That one is really good. It is nice. These are, you know, we have the same shape. Oh, okay. And it's just different colors. Yeah. Well, those are fizzy multicolored belts, which are really fizzy rainbow sweets. It tastes like ours. Yeah. Except, you know, I'm just saying it tastes like ours as in it's the same texture. Yeah. Same idea. It's got a different taste, of course. Ah, okay. What do but you think? It's the same. Do you? Do you like it? I think that has mango in it. Uh, okay. And it's really salty. Really salty. Do you think that one's a no? Yeah. Yeah. Not a hell no. No, I didn't think so. That it was a no, though. Right, it looked bearable. Yeah. Okay. Probably if it didn't have that distinct mango taste, mm. I would have liked it. And the next is, again, very, very similar to the cola one that you had previously. So this next one is really similar to one that you had before. Okay. It's very similar to the cola-flavoured sugary stick, but this one is a strawberry flavored lance, which is basically the same thing. What's a lance? Well, a lance is typically this big stick that you use in jesting. Jousting? Yeah. <laughs> jesting. Said the wrong thing, jesting. This is really good. You like that? We have strawberry straws. Oh, okay. Oh, are they more like circular with a white bit on the inside? Oh, no, that's a different thing, but we have uh, these two. Oh, okay, cool. But, um, <clears throat> sorry, the ropes is what you're mentioning. They're to die for. Mm. They're very good. I do like them. These are really good. So, it looks like that's it. And that's all of the British snacks that I brought Evie to try. Most of them were cult favorites. Some of them my own licorice a wild card but looks like we have so i know that i could eat junk food in london at least yeah that's true yes that is very true so 16 yeses two super yeses but i would just like to say the the hell no's mm -hmm. are hell no's <laughs> they're the hell no <laughs> there is payback in your life coming because of those <laughs> <laughs> all righty then okay well what did you think of trying that i thought it was very good some of them mm -hmm. and very bad some of them and okay i can deal or not deal okay so it was interesting trying them it was it was very i was like really nervous because like i said i'm very picky yeah i got that but i think you did well to have 16 yeses two super yeses that's great to see and you tried all of them even the licorice yes now would you like to know which one is my favorite that would be interesting the banana pieces oh you should pass me one well, there is two yellow. Maybe I think it's maybe this white one. Ah, uh, yeah, it's because like this one is white, and I think this is more yellow. Yeah, this one that I've got in my hand is the right one. Banana. These are my favorite. So your absolute favorite are banana fruit pastels of all British sweets. And then that the candy bar. The smooth chocolate with the white chocolate on it. Mhm. Mm what would be your third favorite? It'd be a toss-up. Ooh, okay. Between the strawberry lances and mm -hmm. the cherries. Ooh, good choice. Yeah. For me, wine gums. 
Those were the horrible ones, though. The ones that you said tasted like Swedish fish. Mm. Oh, okay. No, those are okay. Oh, okay. Just not the dark one. The smooth chocolate with the white chocolate on. Then the cherries. So we have two in common. Yeah. yeah. I'm just not a fan of fruit pastels because they... I'm just not a fan of the pastels because they feel like, to me, they're always going to pull your teeth out, and I don't really like that. Yeah. Alrighty then. Thank you for bringing me treats. Uh, of course. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. It was some preparation, but <laughs> glad that you got to try some good ones. Thank you. And we're going to do this to you tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to sign off. I hope that you enjoyed this as much as I did. <laughs> and um, remember, be your own beautiful. And like, comment, and subscribe. High five. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>